Well, tell us about the bike and uh, some of the new bits. Yeah, the the frame is looking sick, so that's the first good thing. You know, it's really like they did a good they did a good job on the paint. But uh, mainly the big change is the suspension. Obviously, you know, on the bike like that, it's, uh, it plays a lot of uh, importance, I would say. And uh, it's really good. They've been working a lot with Specialized, so the, the work was already well advanced, I, would, I think. So we got the relay. So we started to work with uh, Stockholm and the people from there. And then uh, we actually, the shock was pretty much already super well. You know, we had no problem and... With a little bit of testing, we actually had a really good shock already. Just the fork was more like a like a working field because we they didn't have much experience, and then the fork neither, you know. So we needed to be to spend time on it to see how it would react over time and and how we could we would be able to set it up. And I feel like it's uh, it took us a long time. Honestly, it was a lot of struggles because of the when you change a track when you go from one track to the other one, you have to change so much. And then when you don't know the fork, it's you get lost in a way, but uh, with the telemetry and drag, it was uh, it was good. You know, we had a lot of um, of good surprises, and um, we needed to go to New Zealand. We were not actually ready before New Zealand, and then New Zealand got us dialed for the season, and now we are we're good to go. Also, body and the bike is ready, I think. <laughs> cool. You've got uh, new brakes on here as well, I see. Oh yeah, didn't mention the brakes. Yeah, the brakes is uh, you know as we were done with SRAM and. Uh, we actually had the opportunity to find other other sponsors, and we. What? <laughs> Hello, Jack. <laughs> Hello, Jackie. Carry on, Louis. Um, yeah, so the brakes were like a new, also a good um, a good change. We I knew the guy from from Formula because they uh, they live really close from me. You know, Formula friends. Uh, the brakes were actually at the beginning not the best brakes we've uh, we've had. So we were like, okay, we're just gonna ride uh, the the ones we're used to. And then they were like, no, 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 we really want to, to make a good brake. So they came up with testing and then a new caliper and new things in the brake. We made it really consistent and powerful. So after a little bit of uh, evolutions, improvements, the brake uh, was way better and uh, really consistent what we wanted. And um, even if it's not like, when you look at it, it's really similar from uh, the other Cura. But it's actually uh, in insidely different, so it's uh, we're pretty stuck with it. And uh, and Formula is a good company. You know, I've been with them for a long time before I was on SRAM, so I, w I was happy to be back with them. So I'm stuck. So are these changes in the in the brake here? Are they going to make it into production over time? Yeah. So they're actually working on a new brake, which will be like double piston mm -hmm. and uh, downhill specific, more like for uh, stronger braking. Mm -hmm. And uh, that one would not be production, I think. But okay. the Cura maybe have an, an, an evolution, like 2.0 version. Okay. We will be close to that one. Because when they... So we asked that, and then they were like, okay, what do you think? Feedback, blah, blah, blah. They tried it also after afterwards. And they were like, fuck, this break is really good. So maybe that will be another version of it. And uh, it should be good. Uh, they've been... They've, to me, like, from the outside, neutrally, neutrally I would say they had a... a like a down say a period a little bit mm -hmm. after 2011 12 and then mm -hmm. now they're back at their good you know good time so it should be hopefully we we'll, we we'll bring them some good uh, help